Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. It's Inferno again. Look, uh, in the last episode, if you missed it, I don't know, I almost started saying the same thing I already said, but if you missed in the last episode, uh, you should definitely go check it out. We hatched, uh, the second egg, the one that we get from Riley in the game, which hatched into a Jirachi that we named Nexus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I did some grinding in between episodes, which I did plenty of grinding, uh, more than I would have had to because, um, my save files ended up delete deleting themselves for some reason. I don't know if that's something that that Dismoomi is notorious for or something. I don't know, but um, uh, I had to catch uh, Petunia again and level her all the way up to level forty three. But everybody's at level forty three. Uh, it was something that, that was pretty much worth it because um, you know it's something I had to do, and you know it, it wasn't as boring or as angering as I thought it was going to be, so, um, it was, it was still fine, uh, even though I had to level up Jirachi from level 1 to level 43, it was still pretty okay, and, um, so yeah, moving on, uh, I did battle, I didn't battle these t two grunts here on episode, on the last episode, I battled those two down there, uh, if you guys remember, if you watched it, um, I just battled these two grunts for experience because I was like, why not, and, um, I won. Uh, I make sure to tell you guys that if I do something like that, if anybody fainted, uh, just to make sure that, you know, I'm not breaking the rules or, any, or anything, no one fainted, so we don't have to get rid of anyone. Uh, just just to make it fair, um, we can also get a water encounter here, because of course we didn't have the ability to go in water at the beginning of the game, so our surf encounter for this lake is going to be a seal. So nothing too special, um, just a regular old water ice type, you know. Um, so, I think this should be easy to catch with an Ultra Ball. If, if it's not, well, we caught a new Melon Ultra Ball, uh, with most of its HP left, so, you know, it is possible. Yeah, there we go. Thank, thankfully, it, it stayed in the first ball. So, there we go. Uh, gotcha. Alright, um, let's see, what should we name the seal? Um, so, yeah, uh... Grinding up the Pokemon, it was fairly easy, um, and, uh, see, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do the whole cursive thing, I'm just used to that because of, uh, how I was in fast forward the whole time, so, uh, let's just name you, um, nude, I don't know, something weird that just came to my mind, um, anyways, um, so I did mention that uh, I was alright with Jirachi being on the team at, at the same time as Mew, because um, it was primarily Steel-type, but the only Steel-type move it learns is at level 70, but it's still fine, because uh, even though Jirachi has the team mostly composed of Psychic-type moves, um, Mew only has one Psychic-type move, and it's the move Psychic, and I'm using it more for Fly and Metronome than uh, its Psychic-type moves, so... It's still okay. I don't mind too much. It's 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 fine to me. I mean, sometimes I'll probably use Mew just to use Psychic, even though I have Jirachi. But other than that, it's fine. So um, obviously we shouldn't stay in with Petunia here because she could die. You don't know if what type of Water type move it the Slowpoke has. If it could even have Surf, who knows? Uh, it has Water Pulse because you know Water is four times effective against Petunia, so we got to be careful. Um, Let's use the low kick here. I don't know why I specifically wanted to use low kick when I could have just used an electric type move. Uh, speaking of electric type moves, uh, Neo learned Thunderbolt uh, in between episodes with the grinding up the levels, so now it knows Thunderbolt. That's really nice. That um, as a more powerful electric type move, base power of 95. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, I shouldn't have just used that in the first place, but you know. Um, and it wasn't just Platinum that the files messed up on, uh, it was also Black 2. But Black 2 is easier because, you know, uh, getting experience for your Pokemon in the early game is super easy. And um, I think the hardest part about both of these, grinding up the Pokemon, uh, wasn't really grinding up the Pokemon. It was um, trying to catch the Pokemon with the same gender that I caught them in before, because... Um, See, I should use Petunia, um, because, uh, I wanted to keep them the same gender that they were before. Gender isn't really important unless, you know, attract or anything like that, um, but, you know, um, 
I just still thought it was important to do so, and uh, the hardest one was Petunia, because for some reason I kept on encountering Slugma, which by the way, Slugma has less of a chance than showing up uh, than most encounters in that cave. So, not only was I encountering mostly males, but I encountered like 10 males before I encountered a, a female again to, to be our Petunia. So, I guess we got lucky last time when I actually caught her on screen and um, having it be female the first time. But this time, to get it female, I had to, I had to go through a lot just to get that. But, you know, uh, at least we still have it on the team. And um, so, yeah. Uh, the last video that went up uh, was the episode on Saturday, which you should 100% check out. I ranked the starter Pokemon and their evolution, so three different tier lists. Um, I think someone saw my thumbnail before watching the video and thumbed down the video. <laughs> because um, there was a thumbs down before there was a thumb up. Uh, so, Lake Ossity. Uh, so, we'll go there next. Um... But yeah, you should definitely check it out. It's a shorter video, so uh, it, it won't take up much of your time. Uh, I explained a couple of reasons why some more popular Pokemon were lower on the tier list. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about the video. And it would also uh, mean a lot to me if you guys left suggestions for tier lists I should do next in the comments of that video. Um, uh, my friend... D Dumb Dratini, he suggested that I rank the Pokemon games, which is definitely something I was planning to do all along, but um, it's it's nice that he gave me a suggestion to do it next, because I didn't know when I was going to do it. So now, we are going to the next lake to defeat the next Team Galactic Grunt. So, uh, we're going to have to go north from, uh, let's go from Adernus City, that, that makes more sense. Um... So yeah, uh, level 43 for everyone, pretty nice, uh, everybody's got great movesets still, I'm glad to still have our starter, um, hopefully we, we keep our starter for longer, and uh, we can get a water encounter here too, because we still didn't have the fishing route when we came here, because, unless we did get our water encounter here, but I'm pretty sure we didn't, because we haven't been here since we were here the first time, so, uh, I mean, if we get a water encounter and it looks familiar, or, like, it's dupes, then obviously we did get our encounter here. Uh, but it's Houndoom. Not really something I care about, so, you know, I don't really care about getting the encounter right now, so. Can't escape, that's not very nice. Thank you very much. Petunia is slow, so that's why most of the time we can't run away from Pokemon. Alright, um... You know what, I'm just going to keep Nexus in the first spot, because, um, Nexus is pretty fast, and, uh, he's, uh, they have a pretty good moveset, yeah, um, Mythicals don't have genders landed, um, so the lakefront, maybe we shouldn't have gone here, hold on, I still have those repels from the last episode, I went to buy those again, obviously, because I had to, so I could still keep my sanity, um, yeah, I remember going here before when I played Diamond, so... Yeah, this should be the right way to go. Yeah, the rock is breakable. We we didn't do that before, because we didn't have Rock Smash yet, I don't believe. So, uh... Oh, actually... I think we're supposed to go through Mount Coronet. Because we didn't have Strength before, and I think there's a Strength thing in here. Well, there's Strength there. But that's just to get an item, which I'm 100% sure is going to be a berry. So, yeah, but we can use strength here. I know that this is supposed to be the way that we're supposed to go to go to Lake Ossis. I, I don't even know how it's pronounced, guys. It's it's probably the, the weirdest looking uh, one there. Yeah, we're just supposed to make it out of the cave here. Aquity, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to me, Aquity. Lake Aquity. Um, maybe I was supposed to go north from there? Because that's, that's for rock climb right there. We don't have rock climb yet. That's just a trainer tips. Let's look at the map again. Yeah, we passed it. We're supposed to go north in the cave. That's what I thought. Alright. Because we can, we can move this boulder here. It's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock! 
Uh, yeah, classic SpongeBob. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, it should be going this way. This is new for sure. Mount Coronet. Okay, this is the fog. Unfortunately, we don't have defog, but this definitely feels like the right way to go here. So, kudos to me for figuring that out. And we get to get our water encounter for Mount Coronet, so that's nice. Uh, of course, we still have the Repel on, but we can still encounter Pokemon with a Repel on, so... Um, maybe I'll just wait for the, the Repel to wear off. Let me just run back and forth here. Quick Powder. Oh, whoa. Something that's not a berry. That's, that's pretty nice. Um... I mean, I'm not gonna really care about encounters from this point forward unless they're like something super rare or something that you know would be useful in case someone on our team dies. But so far, our we have more water types in the PC than not, like anything else. So um, I'm not gonna promise anything, but the water type is already reserved in a long line. Um, so if it's if we get an actual water type, it's not gonna be something that I'm. I really care about. Alright, let's see what it is. Yeah, it's a Politoed. That's not... I mean, that's a better water type than what we already have in the PC, but, you know, it's not that special. But, yeah, we can catch it. Hopefully, it doesn't take that much out of us to catch it. Uh, and hopefully this doesn't kill it. It shouldn't do... It shouldn't kill it. Right? Yeah. Close, though. And at least we got the flinch, because um, that's not going to kill... I mean, it's not going to attack us. Alright. Let's see if the first ball we can get in the first ball. I feel like we should, especially since it's an ultra ball. Uno? No, it only rolled once, so... We could try again, though. Swagger. Alright. It doesn't matter if we're confused. It's not like I was gonna hit it again. We'll just use another Pokeball here. Hopefully we can catch it this time. Because uh, going through all these animations again might kill me. I don't like fast forwarding on camera, cause it just feels like cheating. So yeah, yeah, we caught it with the second ball. It's all right. There we go, Politoed. Um, I'm pretty sure we haven't caught anything else from the Poliwag line. I mean, once again, like I said, I don't really care. But um, let's see, what should we name this thing? We'll just name it Frogger. Not too important to give it a special name, so we'll just name it Frogger. Alright, there we go, Frogger. Oh, I was in my death box recently, because um, I had to put uh, Sway Lot back in the death box, but we'll move it out of death. It's not like, you know, it's the number one thing on my mind. Alright, um, maybe we're supposed to go left. Yeah, we're supposed to go left. Yeah, there's the exit. Alright, Lake Aquity. Mount Coronet, we're still here, but there's the exit, so it's alright. No, it's not the exit. It's a full restore. <laughs> I feel like we're close, though. We should be super close to the exit. Alright. Yeah, there's the exit, where there's actually light coming out of the tunnel. Alright, Route 216. So we got a new route here, which means a new encounter. This is where the snow comes from. Uh, there's plenty of grass. I don't need to waste my time running back and forth trying to kill the repel. Alright, first battle of uh, Route 216. I think that's what the route was. I already forgot. Alright, um, Engineer Joe, she's got a few Pokemon. Uh, she's got a Chikorita. That's the second time we, the second episode in a row we've seen a Chikorita. And of course it's hailing because we're in the snow. Alright, um, I'm just gonna go with Confusion. Maybe it'll one-shot. I could have gone for Psychic, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, it one-shots. Alright, I, I, I did a quick cut there. I was talking to my sister and her boyfriend, but, um... But yeah, next Nido Queen. Uh, episode's going pretty good so far. Um, I think this is, like, my third time recording this, because <laughs> I was like, oh, crap, I should probably save the state so I don't have to... In case, you know, I mess up during the recording, I... When I start over the recording, I don't have to, um, go from the beginning, uh, from where I, you know what I'm trying to say? I didn't want to make it so I had to grind up all those Pokemon again. <laughs> and then the second time was because, uh, during the battle that I was talking about at the beginning of the game, during the battle, I, uh, 
messed up and uh, I forgot to heal before the battle and I didn't want to, you know, have a death on screen just because I forgot to heal, so uh, I just did the battle. No one fainted, surprisingly. No one fainted, even though the team was like mostly dead. Uh, not dead, you know, low HP. Most of the team was low HP and we actually made it out alive, so. Um, but yeah, uh, this episode's going smoothly. Uh, thank you guys if you've made it through this far. Um, really appreciate uh, you guys being here and watching my videos. It's almost my one year anniversary, just so you know. The first episode of the Omega Ruby Nuzlocke came out almost a year ago, so. Uh, I might do something for the one year anniversary special, but um, another th goal I have uh, for th the anniversary is that um, before the next, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like 23 days from today, which would be 22 for you guys. See, today's the 17th and the anniversary, yeah, it's about 22 days from where you guys are, um, so uh, one wish of mine is to get to 200 subscribers, and right now I'm only 14 away. So, um, if you guys could, uh, possibly share out my channel, you know, give me a shout-out. I mean, I, I'm not begging for it. I don't like begging for shout-outs that I don't like asking people for subs, but, you know, it would really, uh, it would really mean so a lot to me if you guys could, like, share some of my videos with your friends or anybody else that might be interested in Pokemon. Uh, if you have friends that are into Smash Bros, you can show them the two Smash Wednesdays videos, uh, my video that I made on uh, what I want the DLC to be, uh, stuff like that. So, um, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'd really want to get that 200 before or even on the anniversary. On the anniversary would be great, but, um, yeah, it's nearing, it's, it's pretty close, um, and, uh, I recently watched the first, uh, video I uploaded, which was Omega Ruby Nuzlocke Episode 1, and, uh, it was pretty awkward, I was tired, uh, my throat was dry as heck, I was drinking out of a water bottle the whole time, um, it was really complicated, and, uh, of course, I didn't have my layout, because I didn't, I couldn't find any software that would allow me to edit layouts on top of it, which sucked because I spent a long time making that layout, even though it wasn't that great. I was new to making layouts, so it wasn't that great, but it still took a long time for me because I didn't know what I wanted it to look like, and I, I didn't get to put it, put it on. But that was only for like the few, first few videos, and then, um, and then I finally found software where I could put the layout on. Uh, so yeah, that was... That was uh, that's how I started off, but yeah, um, it's almost time for the anniversary, I'm pretty excited. Um, I mean, I've made such progress in just a year. Like, I went from being such an awkward guy who was afraid to look at the camera and barely talked during an episode to, uh, not even a year later, uh, being super comfortable in front of the camera. It's like talking to a friend, and you guys... Most of you guys that watch definitely are my friends, and if you aren't my friends, then you're definitely someone that I'd, I'd love to meet and, uh, you know, get to know, because every single one of you that watches my videos is means just so much to me, because, you know, it lets me know that I'm doing this for a reason, you know, not just to put videos out there to amuse myself, but to, to entertain others, and it, it really means a lot when you guys check out my videos, so, um... Which, I actually went through, uh, that Mareep was our encounter. I feel like an idiot, but you know what? It's fine. Our liquor type is hanging on strong. So, you know, it's not really that important to me. Um, but yeah. Uh, looks like this is where I'm going to end off the episode. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. Answer whatever course in the day I came up with down below. Subscribe if you're new, I'd really appreciate it. Ring that notification bell so you know exactly when the new episodes come out, which now it's every day except for Sunday, so uh, at 12.30 every day, 12.30 Central Standard Time. So yeah, uh, this is Inferno Man Burning Down, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.